Before we go to break, we want to mention former President Jimmy Carter has cast his vote for Kamala Harris in the 2024 presidential election. The Carter Center confirmed yesterday the 100-year-old former president filled out a mail-in ballot, which was then dropped into a ballot drop box at the courthouse near his hometown of Plains, Georgia. It came on the second day of early voting in the state. Carter's family says the former president told them he was more interested in voting for Vice President Harris than his 100th birthday earlier this month on October 1st. And, you know, thinking about Jimmy Carter, of course, makes me think of my father, who worked for Jimmy Carter as national security advisor, and his many warnings about this moment right now and what it means to be free to be a citizen of this country, a free country. It sounds so easy, right? <laughs> because it, it should be. Um, that's the way it was built. But it's not free for women anymore. Uh, as Sherrod Brown brought up abortion and that topic, our freedoms have been taken away when it comes to life-saving health care. And we are learning what it looks like Right now, we are already learning what it looks like to have freedoms taken away, bleeding out, sterilization, dying. <laughs> that has already happened due to Donald Trump's strict abortion bans and the overturning of Roe. We are experiencing having our freedoms taken away in real time. And they don't that that lack of freedom doesn't go to just Democrats or Republicans, all women and the men who love them. So when Donald Trump threatens his adversaries, remember that he followed through on his threat to take away abortion rights. And he also threatened to punish women who got abortions. Not being free to speak, maybe it's something you can't imagine and maybe perhaps you can't imagine the consequences of that. I trust that women, <laughs> do understand the consequences of having freedoms taken away. Please believe him. And women certainly do already.